What's up everybody and welcome back to another gold making video. Today we're going to be doing a vendor spotlight on an alliance only vendor. Now some of the stuff that she sells is available on Horde and I'll kind of go over some of those items as we're scrolling through her wares. Uh, but before we get into that, we are located here in Stormwind, like I said, alliance only. Uh, we're in the Dorvan district right here and the shop we are going to today is Pots Plates. And we are going to be talking to Allison Potts here, the heavy armor merchant. So she sells five pages worth of items here. Um, I was trying to do the math on it. I really, <laughs> at the end of the day, I don't think the math really matters here. I'm horrible at math. But I think you probably would be spending to buy all five pages, maybe a gold or two. Like it is a very, very, very low investment here. She sells a bunch of different plate sets, of course. So plate and mail here, some of them, like I said at the beginning of the video, some of them are available on the Horde side. Uh, some of them are available from a vendor in Orgrimmar, and then some of them are also available from a vendor in Silvermoon, but they're not like all centrally located for Horde, which is why, I mean, she sells unique items, but which is why like, period, <laughs> you want to be buying everything from this vendor here. It's especially valuable because now you can, like I said, minimal upfront cost of two gold, let's say. Let's make it five. Five gold to buy everything here and then mail everything over to your horde character. Uh, this is a vendor that is particularly good if you play on a horde heavy server. Uh, and I, I say that because nowadays you can mail over all of your items. You can mail them from alliance to horde. So really, really really uh, profitable, especially if there is minimal competition. Um, for example, I play on Area 52, so that's a very, very horde-heavy server, so there aren't going to be a lot of people coming over here and buying items from her and then selling them to, you know, horde characters. I mean, obviously anybody can buy anything from the auction house, but less competition means higher prices, theoretically, you know? Anyway, so she sells a bunch of different sets. A lot of them are unique and a lot of them are valuable. And they actually, because they're common items, uh, they're very, very inexpensive. So if we scroll to the back page here, um, they are 38 copper, 37 copper. There are some at the front here, like going to break the bank with this ornate buckler here. That's a uh, three silver, almost 50 copper. But again, at the very, very back page here, these are ones that are unique to her. So she sells the Squire's Vest. There are two different sets here. So there's one that looks like this. Um, so the Squire's Vest, 38 copper, and it has a region market value of 2K. Has a very decent sell rate too at 0 0.099. And then the other set here, same, <laughs> same Squire's Vest, is a region market value of 4.4K, but a little bit lower of a sell rate at 0.037. Uh, so that one might take a little bit longer, but again, I mean, to be able to turn 37 copper into 4.4k is just absolutely fantastic. Uh, this is one of those things where like, if you're starting out on a new server, I almost like, <laughs> I almost recommend you come out and buy stuff. Just even if you're going to make a couple of sales from this, like absolutely worth it for some good starting gold. There's some other things here like recruit fest. Uh, she sells three different ones. There's one here. Uh, this one shares an appearance with a cross stitch vest but the other two are unique in appearance as well. There's that one and then that one there. Uh, they also are pretty decent in value. Uh, the top one here, the Recruits Vest, uh, 2K region market value, 0.05 sell rate. They're all like, again, all absolutely fantastic. There are some here like uh, that one is Org that you can buy. There's one, I think it's the Brigadine at the very front page right here. You can buy this at a Horde City. You can buy it at Silver Moon. But again, I would just, <laughs> I would come here all centrally located from Alice and Potts. Like I said, I mean, it's pretty easy to get five gold nowadays on a, on an, any character, honestly, uh, but absolutely worth it. Come out here, get yourself at least one of each. If you don't have the appearances learned, <laughs> definitely and learn the appearances as well. There's some pretty unique transmogs in here. Uh, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and would like to see more vendor spotlights, more forgotten farms, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. And I believe that's it. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.
Bye, guys.